Okay, on our way, I'm with Emily to Bristol Airport, um, and a few life updates. I've had my 31st birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Camera now. Oh, yeah. Oh, happy birthday to me, that was tough. What's... Oh, my legs hurt this week. Yeah. A lot. Where's my parents? They're still no, out with Granddad. No, <laughs> it's been two hours. Amazing. I was going to say you should have gone with them because they probably don't know what to say about I thought I'd just go over the last couple of months of training and yeah, 31st birthday, obviously been to Portugal as you've seen in some previous videos and Lanzarote. So I've done more training camps this year than I've ever done before. I feel pretty prepared, feel very fit. Feeling better? Yeah, I think training's gone really well. It's just, I've been all over the place though, especially the first half of the year um, or first couple of months. I was back and forth from Guernsey. I was very lucky to be going skiing as well in Zermatt, um, but then back to Guernsey, um, out to Portugal, back to Guernsey, into Cardiff, um, out to Lanzarote, back to Cardiff. I think I might have even gone back to Guernsey again at some point for different bits and pieces as you've seen on the videos, like whether it be awards or Christmas or whatever it is. But yeah, I was getting a little bit exhausted and tired and I think that I just needed to manage myself a little bit better in that respect, but got through it, carried on training pretty consistently. Um, so yeah, I, I can't really complain about the training. I think life outside of training, I have taken a bit of a hit in terms of just getting a little bit tired. Here we go on another run session. Pretty tough threshold and we're really close to racing. How's that? Good? Solid? Yeah. yeah? Feeling quick, you know? Yeah. You're looking quick. Yeah. Dario was about 30 seconds ahead of me. I don't know, maybe 20 for two and a half K reps. He had a good sesh though. Yeah, running away from Robbie. Scary man. Yeah, yeah. Switching carbon. Zero carbon. Yeah. Yeah. Were you running like 320 per K on like a tough course? Last one was 315. Yeah. 315. Yeah. 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 I am brutal. <laughs> 3 .2. But as I pulled you along, did he? What were you before? 10.7. Yeah. Makes sense, bro. Yeah. Race season approaching. Did you just do Okay, so that was the last harder session before racing next weekend. And it was four no five times nine minutes or so at around threshold. So just a pretty standard session, similar to the one that I did on Monday, which was four by 15 minutes threshold on the bike. So yeah, all in all pretty good. Legs felt okay, just tried out these new carbons from Hoka. Really nice out of the box, I would definitely recommend, especially uh, wearing them so close to a race, you don't want to open a pair or use a pair straight out of the box if they're not soft and spongy or need breaking in. So that's good that I don't have to do too much of that. But yeah, home now, eat, recover, swim this afternoon. I actually have a sweat test with Precision Hydration this evening. And then uh, the weekend is all about getting ready to race next weekend. So over the next couple of days, I'm gonna be just preparing, essentially, going through my race week, uh, having those race week nerves, a bit of anxiety, be a little bit ratty, hopefully not piss M off too much. Um, Nice to have Em with me though, because she tends to look after me quite a bit. Takes a bit of the kind of weight off my shoulders by doing things for me, which I struggle to relinquish myself. Um, like driving to the airport. Like driving to the airport. I prefer to drive myself to the airport, mainly because the van is a little bit of a nightmare, especially with potholes, because... Josh thinks I'll hit the curbs. Yeah, you do hit the curbs. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'd prefer to be kind of in control until we get to the airport and then as soon as we're on the flight, that's absolutely fine. I'll just take a back seat from then on. 
obviously unpack, get my bike sorted, make sure everything's in good working order, and then yeah, just roll through the a few training days in the lead up to the race. to me of health. What's happened? Well, first of all, our flight was delayed and we were sat behind someone that was chundering everywhere. <laughs> Turns out they'd taken some snus, of all things. Um, anyway, we were late. I turned up to get the car and because we were late, our booking had been cancelled. So I had to rebook and had to rebook like in advance, so an hour or two in advance. So we've come to get a Birkin because it's the only thing that's in the airport. Wow. And yeah, I've just had a faff with the Airbnb as well because it turns out I hadn't properly checked in and they closed at five and our delay meant that basically they'd left for work. So anyway, all sorted now-ish, but just gonna have Birkin relax and then get Emily to drive us to, to the Airbnb in Valencia. Those sandals seem to have grown a squeak. Yeah, I've got squeaking my sandals and squeaking my on shoes. So you're gonna hear when I'm coming, like that uh, crocodile in um, his pack. <laughs> Just off for a swim uh, Thursday morning. Just a bit of a shakeout swim. Um, essentially, I always feel terrible on this Thursday after travel. So that's to be expected, but I'll try and get three and a half K or so in um, in about an hour. And yeah, just kind of go about the rest of the day. Got a long ride today. Uh, Going to do a course recce. So that's the plan for today. Try and keep it chilled and just settle in. Empty pool. We've been in Valencia for the past few days. I've done all of my preparation and it's all gone okay. I felt pretty average, uh, all in all, uh, but at the same time, that's what I come to expect a couple of days before a race, especially the first one. I guess lots of anxiety and nerves, etc. Don't know how it's gonna go, but at the end of the day, just gotta go through the processes and not hope for the best, but hope that that results in what I deserve I guess so as long as everything goes to plan yeah why are you taking them off? I'm just re I'm just tightening them making sure they're tight enough. If anyone if anyone wants to make, build, lend, give me a front end I would be massively grateful because they are really expensive. I'm currently making do with a nice front end from Trek, but could be better. How am I feeling about the race? I think, uh, yeah, I'm obviously, like I say, nervous, but at the same time, I'm in quite good shape. 
It's just a case of how will that translate in comparison to everyone else. So it's a little bit of a different race this time round because there's a few ITU guys, like it's gonna be high pace. But then at the same time, I've been in high pace swims before, like Lati was pretty quick. Um, like I've been with Aaron, I've been with Josh Amberger, I've been with Justice Nieschlag, like they're all front end ITU swimmers. So it's not like I haven't proven myself in that respect, but it's, it's also a case of still the first one of the season. So I don't know how it's gonna go. So. Yeah, a little bit nervy about the swim, but I think that's pretty normal. I think it's about 150 meters to the first boy, so that's going to be a little bit kind of sketch because essentially the the shorter the first boy turn, the more mayhem there is around the first boy because everyone's trying to get there first sort of thing. So I'll try and just be relaxed and essentially just not burn all my matches before then, but at the same time not compromise myself too much. It's kind of like one of those balancing acts, I guess. But at the same time, just try and stay confident, try and like just be sensible in the swim and back myself and just get onto the bike in as good a position as I can and then just, yeah, go about my paces, um, be sensible, fuel well, hydrate well. Officially filming. <laughs> You know, actually filming, not uh, pretending filming. I thought I was. <laughs> <clears throat> right, yeah, yeah. Right. So, blasting. Pump. Okay. I'm ready. Shall we be on? Yep. Love you. Love you. There's a car there. And then, yeah, I think it will be what it will be on the run. The course in, on the bike is pretty, uh, pretty solid, I think. It's very flat, but a little bit kind of scatty to begin with. And then at the back end, or in the middle, should I say, there's a hill which turns into a little bit of a technical E descent, but nothing too ridiculous is what I'd say. Um, so yeah, and then like just a, a dual carriageway on the way back into town. So yeah, split transition, uh, run around the park, all really, really nice. Um, really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a pretty amazing race in terms of the, um, the city and the visuals and the beauty of it. So yeah, all in all, looking forward to it. Um... You've got your um, phone and maps and stuff, you? so you know what you're doing. Yeah. Hi. Last swim. Last prep swim. <sighs> one of those where you just have to trudge through it. But, yeah, last one. It's about 11 o'clock, is it? just before 11 on Friday, gonna get it done, register, and then try and chill out for the rest of the day, go for a meal with Ollie, Georgia, um, Ollie's dad, and maybe Fred, if he's coming, <laughs> hopefully. But yeah. Okay? Yeah. All done. Felt terrible. That's good. Yeah, exactly. That's good. <laughs> Means you're ready. <laughs> That's pretty much everything done now, just the cycle tomorrow, but you won't see that because the video will be out by then. So maybe in the next video. This will be a pretty raw cut, so I don't have time to edit anything. So it'll just be kind of like out. <laughs> Yeah, I reckon they. Good name. Good name. Dun, 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 dun. The start list is pretty solid. Um, again, quite a few ITU guys. So that's. Um, 
Uh, the start list is massive. It's meant to be about 90 guys, which is, I've never seen a start list like that. We'll see who turns up, but I imagine it's probably because some of the ITU guys is coming, are coming over to try their hand at some middle distance racing. Uh, I think it's the first European race of the season as well. More people are trying their hand at middle distance racing just in general. Um, yeah, like it's going to be good. I think a lot of people on the start list is, is good for the sport, 100%. Oh dear, it's not that good. What? Yeah. I've actually not got the hair in the frame. Take a look around. Really nice. Oh, you're better than me. <laughs> Poms. That doesn't count. Marketing. That doesn't count. PR. Then no, this is true. You are actually better than me than my own job as well. This is lies. Unboxing. Unbox pastries with Josh. Well, it's not a bakery, is it? It's a patisserie. Yeah. It's not where we are currently. Mm -hmm. um, but it could also mean mayhem. So, yeah, I think as long as it's a fair race, not, not too much drafting, this, that and the other, um, yeah, it's going to be really, really good. Uh, it's nice to put myself or pit myself against so many people and see where I stand. And yeah, it's, gonna, it's a pretty solid field in terms of the competition is quite high, is what I'd say. So yeah, expectations, I, I'd love a top 10, love a top five. But again, haven't seen a field like this in a while, so we'll see what happens.